The exhibition, Banksy and Street Art, the Early Years, is a very uh, broad uh, story of the writing on walls and humankind's desire to want to write on walls. The earliest forms of graffiti started in uh, Spanish Harlem in the 1920s in, uh, in the US um, and that evolved into uh, uh, name tagging, let's say, where individuals would write their names on walls uh, in uh, Philadelphia in the late 60s uh, and New York uh, in the uh, early part of the 1970s and that caused, to some extent, a, a media furore. Who are these people? Why are they doing it? He was instrumental in, uh, uh, let's say, introducing uh, New York uh, graffiti art and hip hop to, uh, to Bristol in the uh, late 1980s and early, uh, early 1990s. Um, uh, Banksy uh, uh, was heavily influenced by uh, Robert Del Naya and is on record of saying that. There's a sort of a confrontation with the police. Obviously, what they were doing was illegal, and uh, uh, Banksy in particular, and, and others, uh, thought that stenciling would be a much more uh, efficient way of leaving their marks, leaving their, uh, their artworks on a surface, uh, executed very, very quickly to avoid uh, and escape uh, the long arm of the law. I think the uh, obscurity around his name uh, has created uh, uh, a lot of attention and uh, intrigue. You know, who is Banksy? It's very much like a Robin Hood sort of character. You know, and I think to some extent he's very, very similar to that uh, uh, mythical character in that you know he's stealing from the rich, giving to the poor, and so on and so forth. You know, I think that uh, his socio-political messages are very clearly uh, uh, in favour of, let's say. You know the common person, and that you know he, he's not afraid to uh, convey his 
thoughts on injustices, uh, you know, whether it be political or, or, or social or whatever. 